Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're working on a Maytag. And we have a complaint that it's smelling like rubber. First thing you want to do is take the two screws off the bottom panel. That's the bottom. Side, see what it looks like in there. Clean out your lamp. So in order to take this front cowl off, you have to take these four screws, two here, two here. Take those off. Disconnect your wires. Make sure it's unplugged. And uh, there's one wire that goes for the temperature sensor. And uh, then you can take this cowl off. And, and clean out lint and look for any possible damage. Okay, so that belt, you can see where it rides, that black line right there, and you got to make sure that you don't get it in that little crease there in the barrel. So it's got to ride on the outside of that crease. See where the black mark is? If you get it inside that crease, then it won't tighten up. This one, the belt was actually not on entirely uniform there was a sort of a twist in it and there was also somehow or another there was a rubber band left in the clothing that got dropped on top of the heating element and started smelling like rubber but it's good for maintenance anyway So you can see how this belt goes, I usually, so that belt goes on that, it's from the barrel, around the pulley, and then around the big pulley, and I usually only draw a little diagram on the machine so I can remember how that goes, and the, the ribs actually face outward on this, so the ribs are facing outward on the barrel, they're not facing inward is different from the Kenmore, Kenmore Whirlpools. The ribs face outward. The ribs on the belt. Let's see the ribs here facing outward. And so that's your tip for today. If this helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. If you need any help, you can contact me at 707-445-1591, 9 to 6 Pacific Time.